G'day fellow black pillars and inkwells, it's Master Yoda here and hope you guys are all doing well. The title of today's video is a reaction video to a, a PUA video called This Makes You Sexually Attractive to uh, Women Every Time. <laughs> it's a, a, a PUA video made by the PUA scammer by the name of Dan Bacon. <coughs> Excuse me, going by the accent, I think he's from Australia. I think he's definitely, from, it's definitely an Australian accent. Um, yeah, I came across this video recently, so I'll do a reaction to it. So without further ado, um, I'll, I'll go for the video and pause it and give my commentary. Is there something that can make a woman feel sexually attracted to you every time? Yeah, it's called your looks. Um, but you're, you're only talking about the top 5 to 10% of guys in terms of looks. Yeah, if you're a chat or a giga chat, yeah, you pretty much be sexually attracted to most women. Yeah, easy. Um Case in point, my chat friend, the one that went the cruise, sorry to bring that up again, but I kid you not, not just on that cruise, but in every other social function I attended with him, um, he picked up every time, never got rejected, or very rarely got rejected. And I've spoken to other black pillars and inkwills who have either been friends with or have been acquainted with chads or giga chads to tell me exactly the same thing. They go out with, on a social function with their, one of their chad friends or better looking friends, and the the Chad guy or the Giga Chad, the better looking guy, he got the girl every single time. Um, yeah, so if you want to be attractive to women, um, yeah, just be uh, just be tall and good looking. Yes, there is. And to help you understand how it works, I'll first point out that there's a big difference between male and female attraction. For a single man, for example, he can look at a woman and instantly say yes, that he would have sex with her or no. I wouldn't have sex with her. It's just an instant yes or no. And the woman doesn't really need to do anything else other than look the way that she does, and it's just a yes or a no. And from that, a lot of confusion and insecurity and even depression is caused for men when they notice that they look at women in that way, but women don't seem to look at them in that way. Well, that's right. Because if you're, not, if you're an unattractive man... Um she's not going to be interested in you. Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Um, uh, I think I know what this guy's about to get to. I think he's going to downplay the importance of looks, you know, typical PUA scumbag. Um, but as we all know, you can't you can't make money out of telling the truth, can you? Um, yeah, the reason why you get depressed when a woman doesn't uh, reciprocate your interest is because uh, she doesn't find you attractive. And I've learned that lesson the hard way many times. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Right? He can look at a woman and instantly look at her butt or her boobs or her waistline or her face or just her overall appearance and instantly be sexually attracted and instantly be saying yes in his mind, but she just walks on by. She doesn't even turn around to look at him. Yeah, because she's not attracted to you. <laughs> no, no shit. Um, if you're a Chad, yeah, she'd turn around and check you out. Um, and if she likes you, she'll give you the choosing signals for you for you to approach her. But if you're ugly or below, you know, or you're below average looking, or you're not you're not her type, yeah, she'll just ignore you. Yeah, what, what did what did you expect is going to happen? The way that he's looking at her, right? If he's walking along and he turns around to have a look, he notices that she just walks on by. And what do most guys think at that point? Well, it means that I'm not good looking enough. Yeah, well. Captain, Captain fucking obvious. And another breaking news, scientists have discovered that uh, water is wet and fire is hot. If you check out a bird and um, she doesn't check you out back, well, yeah, obviously she doesn't find you attractive enough. But in a lot of cases, I mean, if a woman sees a guy that she's you know, physically attracted to, she'll look over towards him. Uh, she'll give him the choosing signals. Um. So, you know, but going, going back to my original point, yeah, if you check out a woman and, you know, you like her and she doesn't check you out back, well, yeah, it probably does mean you're not good looking enough. Yeah, no, no, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, once again, Captain fucking obvious. I have to become better looking. I've got to go to the gym and build lots of muscle. But, but Well, of course you do. Of course you have to look smacks. You have to, especially if you're an unattractive guy or a below average looking guy or even average looking. Yeah. You're going to have to look max, And just on looks maxing or gym selling or whatever you want to call it, look, I think men should, you should you know, by all means, do it. 
try and look smacks as much as you possible. Um, you know, what do you got to lose? I mean, even if you say, if you gym max and you get into really good shape and you still get no girls, well, at least you're going to be fitter, you're going to be healthier. And, and if you're in that situation, you know, keep going to the gym, keep, keep exercising regularly, just but do that more for your own health and well-being, not 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 for female validation. But I can see why guys go to the gym or, or and or do other types of looks max. Of course, it makes you more attractive to women, gives you a better chance with the ladies. Of course, you'd do that. That's just that's just being logical. It's just common sense, isn't it? What guys often find is that when they go and build a lot of muscle in the gym, which takes a lot of work and a lot of time, they end up getting more looks from women. But women continue to just walk on by. They don't come. What well, don't know about that? Um, if you you know if you're able to look max to a point where women do find you attractive, um, you'll probably have some success with them. And the the classic example of that is the black pill. Content creator Ascended, the gentleman from the United States. Um, before he was going bald, um, he was overweight. He wasn't ugly per se, but I suppose you'd say he was, from a woman's point of view, like no homo, he probably say he was average to slightly below average looking. But but because he got a successful hair transplant, um, he got very you know he got very fit by going to the gym. And attaining a muscular athletic physique. Yeah, he's not only getting looks from women, he's getting sex from them. <laughs> so, of course, once again, you put, looks max is a, is a logical thing to do. Well, of course, you, you should looks max. And it, but, but that comes with a caveat in the sense that it may not work necessarily work for all men. So, there's, you know, by all means, try and looks max, gym max, whatever, but there's no guarantee it's going to work. I mean, for some guys, like for me, for me, for example, I was just so unattractive. No amount of self work would make me attractive. Women, yes, I, I did looks max, and I got into pretty good shape. But women just saw me as an ugly guy with a good body. Whoopie do. Come over and say, "Hey, how are you? What's your name? What's your number? Can I take you out sometime?" So he's still at the same point, and that can lead a lot of guys to feel that they're not good looking enough and feel insecure. But the guy simply doesn't understand that a woman's attraction works differently to a man's attraction. For example, one of the biggest differences between the male and female brain is that the male brain has a sexual pursuit area that is 2.5 times larger than the sexual pursuit area in a woman's brain. And well, I don't know about that, but one thing for sure, I will say that men, we have a lot more testosterone going through our body than that of women, and that makes us hornier, and we do have a stronger sex drive, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that, and, um, you know, we're, we're much hornier than women, I mean, comparing the sex drive of a man to that of a woman is like comparing the, the explosive force and energy of a nuclear warhead to that of a firecracker, there's just no comparison, us men, we're just horny 24-7, whereas women, women only get horny when it's when it, when, it, when it's come, when it comes to chat. Um, they'll, 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 um, they won't get very horny when a guy's average to blow average looking. What that means is that we men are designed, we are wired to be the ones who pursue sex. So men are typically the ones who tend to check women out. They tend to check out the goods and it's part of... Well, no, so do women. What's he talking about? Yes, us men, we, we do seek beauty in, in females, absolutely. But women do as well. <laughs> you know, attraction just like communication's got to be a two-way street. Yeah, we we check out women for their beauty, but women also check us out too. I don't know what this guy's going on about here. The male wiring—it's something that's very different about men compared to women. And if you don't know that, you'll be confused about how women react to you when you're single or in a relationship because. Men can instantly say yes to sex, but in almost all cases, a woman needs to check first. What does she need to check? She needs to check whether or not the guy is emotionally attractive. Oh, fucking hell. This is bullshit. Attraction studies. Okay, we'll go through it. Number one, women rate a man's emotional attractiveness as being more important than his physical appearance. Bull fucking shit. Bullshit with a capital B. I know they've quoted some website down here, but I'm sorry, that, that, that study is just bullshit with a capital B. I can find a lot of other studies that prove that women rate a, a man's physical appearance more than his emotional attractiveness. And what the fuck is emotional attractiveness means? I mean, you often hear these trendy buzzwords, this new age bullshit, oh, emo is that person emotionally available? Do are they emotionally attractive? 
mate, they mean, it means fucking nothing, right? Right? So this is – point number one is absolute bullshit. So you're telling me that women are going to get hot and wet over an ugly guy who's emotionally attractive? No, no, no. Women are going to get wet and horny over a man who's physically attractive. So point number one is an absolute fucking lie. Bullshit. Uh, number two, men value physical attractiveness more than women do. Bullshit again. No, 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 no. That is rubbish. Even a, a Chad or you know, a reasonably attractive guy, he'll date down. He'll have sex with a less, less physically attractive woman than himself. He will. And I'll give you some high-profile examples. Take the late, the late John Lennon from the Beatles. Now, given his huge status and wealth as, a, as a, obviously a very successful professional musician, he could have landed the hottest trophy wife on planet Earth. But no, he decided to marry, I suppose you'd call, an average to below average looking Japanese woman. But, you know, he was happy as a pig, pig and shit with her until he was tragically killed. But, but you see the point I'm trying to make? And his bandmate, Paul McCartney, um, once again, obviously a very successful musician and a very good musician too, with his immense wealth and status, he could have married the hottest trophy wife on planet Earth, but instead he married the the late uh, Linda Eastman, who tragically, I think she died of cancer. May she, may she rest in peace. Um, I mean, she wasn't ugly, but I suppose you'd call her average looking. Um, he, he could have landed the, the, the hottest trophy wife on planet Earth, but no, he chose to uh, marry a woman less attractive. Who wasn't that? Wasn't that well, I wouldn't say she was unattractive, but she wasn't that overly attractive either. And let's take um, Brad Pitt, you know. Um, given his looks, no homo, he, he could have dated the hottest women on planet Earth. But no, I mean, he's dated some attractive women. I mean, who did he date? Um, Jennifer Aniston, okay, she's pretty, but she, I wouldn't say she's hot. And and, and uh, Angelina Jolie, I mean, when he first met her, she wasn't too bad, but unfortunately she lost too much weight. But she was attractive, but, you know, he, he, could, have, he could have dated or married way hotter women than the women he has. See, men, we're not we're we're not the visual ones. It's actually women are. And think about and think about it from a scientific point of view. Women probably do need to be more visual because think about it. If a woman has offspring with a particular man, she wants to make sure that the genes that have been that she passes on to her children, they're going to be good genes. Those kids are going to be attractive and healthy and strong, so they can reproduce. That's not going to happen with a physically unattractive man. And that now that's not to say that unattractive men can't pass on their genes. They do, but you, you, what you often find is that with a lot of unattractive men, like me, for example, you, your genes get worded out of the gene pool pretty fast, right? So, no, men, this this this, this point number two here, that men value physical, physical attractiveness more than women do, is absolute bullshit. It's the other way around. Other way around. And look at the, uh, the internet dating site, site studies, right? Women would only swap. The Tinder one was what women would only swipe on the top five to ten percent of men in terms of looks, and they consider the rest, the rest of the men as being unattractive or ugly. Whereas men, when they were served, they would, they would swipe on more than fifty percent of the profile. So no, point number two is just like point number one is an absolute lie. It is actually women who value physical attractiveness more than men do by a country mile. And point number one, my God, I mean, where, where did he pull this out? Pull, out? pull this out of his fucking, where did this PUA scammer pull this bullshit out of his ass? Women rate an emotional attractiveness. What, what, what does that mean? It means nothing. No, what number point number one should read, women rate a man's physical appearance as being the most important thing. I'm sorry, it is. That's Black Pearl 101. So number one is bullshit. So what he's saying here is bullshit. Women rate a physical. The, the the reality is, women rate a man's physical appearance more as being the most important thing, right? Not this emotional attractiveness bullshit. Number two, it's actually women who are more who value physical attractiveness more than men. I'm sorry, they do. And you see what happens in the real world. Number three, men show stronger preferences for physical attractive mates than women do. No, once again, another lie. No, 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 no. It's actually. Women have stronger stronger preferences for physically attractive mates than men do. Another lot. No, no, this is more lies. Number four, men place more emphasis on the physical attractiveness of potential mates than women do. Another lie. A big fucking lie. 
know they've, 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 they've put some websites, they've put some websites here. These studies are very, very, <laughs> no, nah, bullshit. I, I, I dismiss those studies. Absolute bullshit. Because when you see what happens, goes, what happens in the real world, the, these, these attraction studies, these four points are made are absolute rubbish. The reality is this. It's actually women who are more who are more obsessed with a man's looks than than what women, that what men are. Men will date down, women won't. Yeah. Anyway, guys, what can I say? Uh, this PUA's pulled this fucking shit out of his ass. Because that is what is most important to women. It's been proven time and time again. It's no, it hasn't. Bullshit. You're quoting some very questionable studies here. Very questionable studies. Essentially, yes, women definitely can feel attracted to a handsome man and they can definitely feel physically attracted to men. Absolutely no problem about that at all. But Yeah, but then why 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 are you falsely claiming that it's men who are more obsessed with looks than women? I'm sorry, if you look what goes on in the real world, speaking from my own personal experience, from the chads and better looking guys that I've known who've done well with ladies. And also the, you know, I've Many other black pillars and ink walls that I've spoken to have told me exactly the same thing. They've either been, had chads who are friends or been acquainted with chads. Same thing. Whenever, whenever, whenever they went out with them, their better looking or chad friends would get all the girls. They'd get nothing. They'd be ignored. You'd be totally invisible. I'll, I'll give you one example. Um, and this is not just anecdotal. I've, this is empirical. I've seen this happen shitload of times. But I was talking to an ink wall friend of mine. And he told me about a, a time he went he went out with his sister and three of her female friends. Now the the these three female friends of my of my inkwell uh, inkwell sister they were talking to him. Yeah, they were, they were talking to him. All of a sudden, a six foot four Chad walks in. The three women that were talking to my inkwell friend completely ignored him. They just pretend, he, he all of a sudden he became instantly invisible, and all their attention was was focused on the Chad. That walked the six foot four Chad that walked in, and they all and my my equal friend could could overhear these women talking amongst themselves. And I was saying things like, "Oh, gee, how, how, how can we meet? How can we meet this guy? He's so hot. He's so good looking." Um, yeah, if you really want the brutal truth on what women find attractive in men, you, you need to you need to listen to some female locker talk. And what basically that just what what that is this is when uh, women talk amongst themselves and in, in multiple cases in multiple instances I, I, I can tell you when i've heard women talk amongst themselves about about men not once do they mention things about oh has he got a good personality is he intelligent is he a good person can i trust him it's all about the fucking looks oh is he hot is he hot is he good looking is he good looking i remember back in 996 i was working for a life insurance and superannuation company i I was in the admin area. Uh, sorry for those of you outside of Australia. Superannuation is what you Americans would call 401k. It's our, it's what we call our pension fund over here. We call it superannuation. And I was working in the admin department of this, this particular company, and I remember I've been there about oh, almost about about two and a bit months. And we, I used to work in the department, and we, we were, there are other there are other different teams, and they were partitioned off. And I can overhear a bunch of women talking about a, a, a new person that had just been hired. Now, this guy was, um, he was a young man from New Zealand. Um, he was about to be a Catholic priest, but he decided he, wanted, he didn't want to join the priesthood. So he left it and, you know, and joined, this, uh, joined this life insurance and superannuation company. And um, I hear the women talk about him. Oh, did you hear about this guy? And I, I won't tell you his real name. We'll just call him Bob. Oh, did you, did you hear about this Bob guy? Oh, he's so high. He's got beautiful eyes. That's all I could talk about. Nothing to his personality or anything like that. Um, yeah. All about looks. What did, what's he look like? What's he look like? What's it? Nothing, not, nothing was mentioned about his character. Could he be trusted? Is he a decent person? Not, all about his looks. All about his looks. Um, I've spoken to other Inkwell friends of mine. They've overheard female locker talk. That's all about when they when they talk about men. It's all about his fucking looks. Nothing else. So for this PUA scammer in this video to suggest that women are more visual than men, I'm sorry, that's an insult to my intelligence, and it's an insult to any thinking person's intelligence. That is absolute bullshit. 
Women are way more visual than men. Way more visual than men. By a country fucking mile. And women will gravitate towards the chads. They will. I'm sorry. I'm not, and I'm saying, I'm not saying the chads are going to get all the girls. No. But they'll get the lion's share of them. And it's been proven over and over and over again. It has been proven time and time again that women place more importance on a man's emotional attractiveness. Bull fucking shit. Bullshit. Once again, I know, that I've, I know I've discussed this before, um, but he's brought it up again. Um, I'm sorry, these studies are very, very questionable. Very questionable. Because of the, there's, a, a lot of, there's a lot of other literature out there that prove that it's actually the the sorry, the reality is that women rate a man's physical appearance as being the most important thing, not his emotional attractiveness. That's bullshit. Oh, yeah, I mean, as we all know, PUA scammers and dating rates are the biggest liars out there. But as we all know, you can't make money out of telling the truth. So what these PUA scumbags and dating roaches do? They try and downplay the importance of looks, and the whole the whole premise of PUA is if you can somehow press the right emotional buttons on a woman, that that will get her to overlook your physical deficiencies and will get her to sleep with you. No, it, it just doesn't work. If you don't pass that looks test with a woman, there's going to be no chance of sex. You know, you can be the smoothest talker on planet Earth. If you don't pass the looks test with a woman, game over. So. For example, is a guy able to be assertive with her or is he a passive sort of guy when interacting with her? And you can only be assertive as a, with a woman as she allows you to be. I think he's talk, I think he's referring to confidence. You know, you can't force yourself upon a woman. I mean, that's, well, that's very illegal. <laughs> and if you were crazy and evil enough to, to, do, to force yourself upon a woman, that carries a very long custodial prison sentence apart from a horrible thing to do to a woman. They should never ever do. They should ne that they should never ever do. Um, so the, he's going on with a lot of mental masturbation here. Therefore, he's afraid to take the lead or afraid of upsetting her. So, for example, an assertive guy will confidently ask a woman something. He won't be afraid to assert himself and direct the conversation where he wants to take it. Whereas, ah, oh, this is fucking bullshit. Look, once again, you can only be as confident with a woman. As she allows you to be, and it, and it, and it, it all and it also depends on the body language you're getting from the woman. This is, I know I've said this many times before in a lot of my a lot of my other PUA reaction videos. But if there's, if there's one thing that gives me the raw fucking shits about PUA scammers and dating roaches, these fucking idiots never talk about body language. What sort of okay? If say you were to approach a woman, right in a bar or a nightclub or a pub or or, or a social or wherever. Right. What body language is she giving you? Is she giving you the choosing signals? Is her body language warm and inviting? Like, is, does she actually like you? Or is it uh, dismissive and combative, which it usually is when she's rejecting you? You know? Um, uh, let, me tell you, uh, let, me, let me tell you the reason why women get angry and shitty with, with guys who are ugly but try and act confident. Because she's saying to herself, hang on a minute. I've given this guy no reason to be confident. Why is he acting confident? You know? I, I haven't given this ugly creep any reason to be confident. So why is he acting confident? But once again, you can't talk your way into a woman's pants. She's either physically attracted to you or she isn't. Anyway. A passive guy will usually just want to follow along with whatever the woman is talking about. He will be worried about talking about things she may not like, so he will just want to follow her lead in the conversation or interaction. Women aren't attracted to that type of passive behaviour from men because it can signal a lack of confidence and make him appear less capable of taking charge and be- Oh, fuck off. Women aren't attracted. Women are not attracted to physically unattractive men. That's what they're not attracted to. This passive assertive stuff. It's all fucking cope. Um, no, <laughs> no, no. That's jeez. Uh, God, this these POAs are so full of shit. I don't know how anyone can take these guys seriously and actually pay them money. I wouldn't pay these guys a fucking cent. Being decisive, which are traits that women find sexually attractive and sexually arousing in a man. 
Now, something important to point out here about the difference between male and female attraction is that most men don't care if a woman is passive or assertive, they'll still have sex with her, right? It doesn't matter if she's just waiting for him to make a move or if she's trying to make a move. Who cares? Yes, she looks good, so I'll have sex with her. That's it. Yet that said, most men actually prefer women who are passive and just go along with whatever the man wants, right? But it doesn't work the other way around, all right? Most women prefer a man who has the confidence, masculinity, and balls to actually be assertive, but he also has the social intelligence and tact to do it respectfully, right? So the guy's not just being an asshole and telling her to do things that she doesn't want to do and forcing her to do something. It's not about that. Instead, he is simply being assertive and being the one who's actually making something happen, but he still shows the woman respect and treats her well. Women are attracted to that. They want that. They're checking for that. They want to see if the guy actually can be a man around her or if he's going to be passive like a woman. So it's important to understand that, generally speaking, women care more about emotional attractiveness than men when it comes to sex. And um, hang on. Attraction study. Men's sexual attraction to women is less influenced by assessment of character compared to women's attraction to men, indicating difference, consi- indicating difference, difference consistent with evolutionary perspective on human sexuality. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk about No, no, no. I, I, I think that's bullshit. Men do value personality in women. I mean, what's the point if, even if you could date or marry a really hot-looking woman, but she's a bitch and she treats you like shit? A man would rather date or marry uh, maybe just an average-looking woman who's got a really good personality. Um, and sometimes even men could date or marry an unattractive woman, but what 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 won this woman? What what uh, what this man found attractive was a woman's personality. I mean, there's women I've spoken to. I mean, unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't end up dating them, but I didn't find them that physically attractive at first. But then their personalities just grew on me. See, men are flexible that way. A man a man might meet a woman and he might not find her that that attractive, but then when he gets to know her, and she, 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 he might get blown away by her, by her personality. Whereas women aren't that flexible. I mean, even you know, even if you're an ugly or, or unattractive guy. And you've got a great personality. Women don't care. They don't, they don't give a shit. So what? You're just an ugly guy with a good personality. Whoopie fucking do. Uh, and they, they won't give you a chance. No way. Nope. They don't like what they see. Doesn't matter how good, how good P, doesn't matter how good your personality is. Women won't date you. Or have sex with you. It's just the way that it is, right? A man will have sex with a woman, whether she's passive or assertive, it doesn't matter. But women want to have sex with a man who has emotionally attractive traits, such as assertiveness. Of course, that's... Oh, fuck off. This is all cope. All cope. Emotionally attractive traits. Let's go through all confidence. Well, as you all know, confidence is a byproduct of success. Unless you're successful at something, you're not going to be confident. Emotional masculinity, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Playfully challenging humor, masculine charm, sexual confidence, charisma, social intelligence, boldness, tact, assertion, high status for emotional attention. This is all wishy-washy bullshit. Look, let, let, me, let me tell you what, what women what men well, sorry, what women find attractive in men. Either looks for genuine desire or money if she's a gold digger. That's the only two things women are attracted to. They couldn't give a fuck about your personality. They can give two shits. To the looks for genuine desire. Or money, right? All this, all this other stuff here is just bullshit. All this, all this stuff that, that he's putting down here is just a lot of mental masturbation, emotional intelligence, social intelligence. Well, social intelligence, I just call that common sense. Uh, as I understand it, social intelligence is just um, is when you act appropriately given a certain scenario. And I'll, I'll give you an example. Say, for example, you're approaching a lady and she's rejecting you, usually with a body language. Well, obviously, in that situation... Uh, you pull out, you, you know, you get the hint. You politely thank said woman for a time, and you leave her alone. That's what I do. I mean, when I've been rejected by women, once again, usually with their body language, you know, I quickly get the hint. You know, I, I, I get the vibe that she doesn't like me, and I, I, I say, to the "Lady, look, sorry to bother you. Thanks for your time. I wish you the best." So I, I think that that's what social intelligence means. Sexual confidence, yeah, I think I take that as, a, you know, are you good in bed? Well, in, in, in order to be good in bed, you need practice. <laughs> Either with civilian women um, who find you attractive, or uh, if you're an ugly bastard like me, um, yeah, the, the sexual confidence you had with by banging hookers. 
I know I had to pay for it. But one, one, one good thing I'll say about one good thing is not about banging hookers. Um, it does give you sexual confidence. So, in the very unlikely event that uh, some woman actually likes me, um, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> At least I know what to do in bed. I mean, I've had plenty of practice. I mean, I had to pay for that practice, but I, I'll, 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 I will know what to do. Anyway. It's not the only attractive trait that you can display. You can display so many traits that are emotionally attractive to women. So what do you need to do to make a woman feel sexually attracted to you and want you sexually? Thankfully, it's very simple. You just have to display emotionally attractive traits and then shoot your shot. Oh, fuck off. No, what you need to do is you need to display uh, physically attractive traits. They're and if you get the choosing signal, then shoot your shot. This emotionally attractive stuff is just mental masturbation and, and just pseudo-psychological bullshit. So, no, guys, what you need to do is, if you want to attract the ladies, display physically attractive traits. And if you get the, if you get those the choosing signals or the green light from them, then shoot your shot. Cold approaching women with, without said woman giving you the green light to do so, not a good idea, guys, and will probably lead to certain rejection and humiliation. Um, what this PUA is saying in this video is just absolute nonsense. That's it. You don't have to do anything more complicated than that. This is one of the main reasons why you'll see guys with women and wonder, hang on a second, what... Here we go again. The ugly guys with hot girls um, argument. You get this. You get this fucking piss weak straw man argument, especially from the blue pilled idiots, and especially from the the proponents of the oofy doofy theory. They say, "Oh man, come on! You see ugly guys with beautiful women all the time. Bull fucking shit." You know what my rebuttal to that is? Okay, if you supposedly see ugly men with beautiful women all the time. Answer me this. Why is it when you see a mismatched couple, hot-looking women with ugly men, people say people say these things. Oh, what has she seen him? How did he get her? Or he's batting out of his league. Well, hang on a minute. If ugly men getting hot women was, was, was commonplace and looks wasn't an issue, people wouldn't make comments like that, would they? But the reason why people make the comments that I just mentioned is because it's an anomaly. Another thing too, you don't know the circumstances of, of these these couples here. I beat my two balls that most of these guys are probably rich and the women there are just gold diggers pretending to be attracted to these guys when they're really not. Right? That's that's probably the, the real case. That's what's really going on here. Or maybe these guys just got lucky just like a lottery ticket winner is and they just found a woman who took, took them for who they are. They just got lucky. The same way a lottery ticket when it gets lucky, becomes an instant millionaire because they, you know, they're in the right place at the right time, and they happen to purchase, and they purchase that that winning lottery ticket. You know, when I, whenever, whenever I hear these idiots, these oofy doofy morons going, oh no, I see ugly women. I oh, sorry, I see ugly men with hot women all the time. Okay, based on that logic, does that mean if we all go out and buy lottery tickets, we're all going to become instant millionaires? No, it's a, it's a very, it's a very um, faulty logic. Um, and this is what this PUA scammer is doing. He's trying to say, oh, no, there's un unattractive guys get beautiful women all the time. No, they don't. They rarely get attractive women. In fact, they rarely get any, they rarely get any women at all. The only time I see uh, unattractive guys get women is when they're either entering or exiting a brothel. So once again, this, this, this PUA scammer is using this piss weak straw man argument to say, oh, you know, these, these unattractive guys can get beautiful women. So can the rest of you. No, it doesn't work that way. What's she doing with him? Some guys may think, hey, I look better than him, or that guy's not even tall. Why isn't she with a tall, handsome model sort of guy? Why is she going for a short guy? What is... Once again, money. Doesn't this, doesn't this stupid POA scammer know what a gold digger is? Now, in saying that, I'm not saying that all women are gold diggers. No, absolutely not. But there are a lot of them out there as well. And as a man, look, once again, you should always try and make as much money as you can. But whatever you do, don't you don't leave with your wallet to, to, suppo to supposedly attract women because all you're doing is you're putting a big heart, a big target on your back for gold diggers and users. Look, I strongly suspect these couples here, the guy's rich and the woman's a gold digger. All right? Use your common sense.
does that woman find a guy who's overweight sexually attracted? Mate, the sec this has got to be money. Like, there's no way to the two hot stacies you're gonna marry two fat asses like this no way it's got to be money or you, you don't ever know maybe this uh these women could be escorts that these guys are fired because sometimes with hook, hookers what, what some hookers do particularly independent ones if you don't if you just don't want to fuck sometimes they, they'll, they'll uh you can pay them to go on a date with you right i wouldn't do it i mean fuck that God, if I pay one, I just want to fuck and that's it. I don't want to take her on a date and pay for a dinner. But sometimes guys do that. Um, yeah, no, um, no. <laughs> With these couples, no. I think these, these dudes are probably rich and these women are gold diggers or they're escorts. No way. Attractive. How can that be possible? How about the guy who's skinny? Look at his arms. Don't you have to have... Once again, these chicks are probably gold diggers. I bet my two balls they are. Big muscles? To make women feel attracted? That's the only way that they can feel sexually attracted, right? You gotta have huge muscles. That's the only way to do it. No. Women definitely can feel attracted to a man who has muscles. Women. Of course they fucking will. That's why men look smacks. Just on the muscles thing, look, by all means, you know, go to the gym and try and try and get a, an athletic muscular physique, but don't go overboard and don't touch steroids or that bloody other poison, what they call TRT. The, the the I think the ideal bodies that women do find attractive those are professional soccer players, lean but with a bit of muscle. That's that they're the sort of bodies women not not that they don't like the um the roid head body. You know the the guys that look like bloody Popeye. They got you know they got they got bulges. You know yeah, they, 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 they that's just, women don't like that. If you're going to go for a, an athletic, if you're going to go for a, 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 a an athletic physique that women find attractive. You're probably going best going for the, that that are professional soccer players, lean but with a bit of muscle. But I can see why guys looks max and gym max. Yes, to improve your chances with the ladies. Well, well, that's to me that's just being logical. Definitely feel attracted to a man who is tall. Absolutely. However, most women place more importance on a man's emotional attractiveness. Bull fucking shit. No, they don't. Women place more emphasis on a man's physical appearance. His genetics. And his race. We all know the race pill, guys. We all know the race pill. They've done studies of women all over the world. All over the world. And I, I find it, uh, yeah, it's, isn't, it, isn't it convenient how the, these PUA scammers left those, those race studies out? Because as we all know, women, uh, particularly white women, um, or pretty, pretty much all women, you know, they, they find good-looking white men of European heritage to be the most attractive and the least attractive races of men were uh, Asian, Middle Eastern and Indian. You know, and that's coming from women. Don't shoot the messenger. That's coming from women. So now what, what women uh, find the most attractive in many is his looks and his genetics and, and race as well. Yeah. Um, not, not his emotional attractiveness. Uh, that's just PUA cope and bullshit. To her. And in some cases, the guy that she is with isn't even that confident. Yet he displayed another trait that is emotionally attractive to women, and that is determination. He was... De Hang on a minute. Some of these guys here know, homie, they're not that ugly. God, if these guys are considered unattractive, what the fuck am I then? I must be, I must be the elephant man compared to these guys. Um, no, 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 no. Um, and look, some of, these, some, some of these dudes aren't that bad. Right, the two guys here in these photos, that guy's not that ugly. God, if he's considered below average looking, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the elephant man. I'm the hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I must be hideously deformed if these guys are considered unattractive. Uh, determination, no. Maybe these guys are rich and these women are gold diggers. It's after his fucking money. Uh, or maybe they've got look. In the case of an unattractive man landing a hot woman. Maybe he just got lucky and he found a woman who took him for who he is. And look, there are women like that, but they're very hard to find and they get snapped up very quickly. Very, very quickly. I'm sorry, women go by looks first. I'm sorry they do. You know, uh, they, they just...
determined to talk to her. He was determined to keep the interaction going. He was determined to ask her out or move in for a kiss. And it's not a case of him doing it in a needy way or a desperate way where he's desperately chasing her. Instead, he's just determined. He likes that girl and he wants to make something happen. Women are attracted to men who know what they want and aren't afraid to go and get it. So, Oh, fuck off. Women are attracted to men who look good. And you can't go in to kiss a woman or touch a woman unless she gives you the green light to do so. Right? That's, you know, you've got to read body language. You really do, guys. I and mean, it's just common sense stuff. I don't know why these PUA fucking scammers and dating roaches don't talk about it. Body language is the most powerful form of nonverbal communication that two human beings can have with one another. Right? As I've said many times before in, in, in my previous videos, most of my rejections were body language ones. It didn't even get to the stage for me to ask that woman out for her to say no. I already knew she rejected me just with her body, just with her dismissive, hostile body language. The usual shit. Dirty looks, um, back turns, uh, refusing to look you in the eye, um, not moving into your personal space, not not allowing you to move in on her personal space. I mean, this, this, this is pretty. This is pretty. This is pretty easy shit to tell. It's just common sense. But unfortunately, common sense isn't all that common. Um, no, no, no. Women, are, in terms of genuine desire, women are attracted to your looks. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just, it's just that black and white. I'm sorry, it is. You know, you, uh, this PUA is going on with a lot of bullshit here. And just on talking to them, yeah, as I've said before, um, attraction, just like communication, there's got to be a two-way street. If you're doing all the talking, game over. It's she's not interested. When I've observed my Chad friends or better-looking friends successfully pick up girls, the, the communication was mutual. It was, it was two-way. It was a two-way street. It was a two-way street. Um, but if you're doing all the talking, she's not interested. Or oh, she's just giving you one-word answers, she's not interested. Yeah? So communication, just like attraction, has got to be a two-way street. Whether you're single or in a relationship, if you can display some emotionally attractive traits such as confidence, humor, flirting, social intelligence, emotional masculinity, anything like that, she is going to feel sexually attracted to you and want you. That's how No, she won't. She has to be physically attracted to you first. You can have all those, all those um, characteristics. But if, she, if you're ugly, it's pointless. Absolutely pointless. If, he doesn't find, if she doesn't find you physically attractive, and also, too, you have to take into account the, the halo effect. And as you all know, the halo effect is a perceived bias somebody has to, to an attractive person. You know, you could be um, you could be the most boring person on planet Earth, but if you're a Chad, women, women will find you interesting. In a previous video, you may you may recall I was talking about a video I saw many years ago. This woman was interviewing a young male model. Now, look, I don't mean to throw this male model under the bus, but he wasn't the most exciting guy. I mean, I'm sure he was a nice enough person. Well, sorry, he was a decent enough person, but he wasn't the most exciting person. Well, you, you'd, you'd probably say he's boring. He listed his interests and hobbies as reading and gardening. Now, if that came out of the mouth of an ugly guy, I wouldn't say, oh, you're just an ugly, boring guy. But because it came out of the mouth of a Chad, he became interesting. This woman, you should have seen her body language. Her, her eyes and face lit up like a Christmas tree. She might as well have had the words come and fuck me printed on her head, printed on her forehead. She was so interested in this guy, even though he was the most interesting person. So, no, you can have all those positive attributes like being charismatic, have a good sense of humour. Yeah, great. And have confidence. Well, it's good, genuine confidence. But that, that all means nothing if she doesn't find you physically attractive. How you get a woman to have that instant yes in her mind in terms of your sexual attractiveness to her? and her desire to have sex with you, right? If you're interacting with her and you're emotionally attractive, then she's going to be feeling that instant yes in her mind. Bullshit. The only time she's going to get instant yes in your mind if you're Chad or Tyrone. <laughs> if you're ugly or you're below average looking or even average looking, it's going to be an instant no. Yeah. Once again, the this PUA scammer is pushing the same narrative that that all the PUA, PUA scammers and dating roach, roaches push, and that is if you can somehow push the right emotional buttons on a woman, that that will get her to be attracted to you. It won't work. It won't work. Women make women make snap judgments about men within milliseconds of seeing a particular man. 
You don't pass that looks test, game over. You're done. You're going to get rejected. You're going to get, unless, unless you're lucky and you hit that uh, unicorn, you find that unicorn or you find that proverbial needle in a haystack, or you, you, unless you find a woman who takes you for you are, look, they're out there, but they're going to be very hard to find. Then chances are you probably won't find her. And I'm not saying that to be mean or to be doomerish. I'm just I'm just keeping shit very real here. Very real. Yeah. You know, sometimes a poor, ugly guy might score himself a hot girlfriend, a hot wife. Um yeah, and so some people some people become instant millionaires by buying lottery tickets. Does that mean we're all gonna buy become become rich, instantly rich if we all buy lottery tickets? No. No. These ugly guys, even if they're poor, who get hot looking girls are just lucky. Lottery ticket winner, lucky. But you'll find most unattractive guys, they don't get hot women. In fact, they don't get any women at all. <laughs> yeah, so now this POA is just talking shit again. But if you're interacting with her and you're emotionally unattractive, she's going to be having an instant and an ongoing... Here we go again. More of the PUA bullshit. They're basically saying looks don't matter. Rubbish. Attraction study. Okay, let's read it. Women rate a, ma a man's emotional attractiveness as being the most important than his physical attractive appearance, while men rate a woman's physical appearance as being most important. Bullshit. Bullshit. What this... What, what this what, what the study should really say, women rate a man's physical appearance. Uh, sorry, a man. Women rate a man's physical appear, appearance as being more important. No, that that's that's the reality, guys. Women are by far the more visual gender by a country mile. This PUA scammer is just he's just telling lies here. This is these are lies, absolute lies. Um, yes, men can look. Us men can be visual too. Some men can be very visual, just as much as women. But overall, when you look at what happens in the real world, it's actually women who are the more visual and superficial gender. So no, women rate a man's physical appearance as being the most important thing. Your looks is what opens the door with a woman. It's the, well, put it put it another way. Your your looks is the key that opens that door to a woman. That, that's the key that you need to unlock that door, your looks. You don't have those looks, you don't get that. You, you can't you can't open that door. That door will be shut in your face instantly, instantly. So no, this this attraction study is bullshit. That, 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 that's a lie. I'm sorry. It's, it's bullshit. No, in her mind, because emotional attractiveness is more important to women. It's just how it works. No, it's not how it works. That's a lie. That is an absolute lie. These PUA scumbags, they uh, they make me sick. They really do. Absolute scumbags. They, I think the most toxic thing about PUA's dating rates, and pretty much you can pretty much you can pretty much apply this across the entire self help industry, and that is it gives gives people false hope based on blind optimism, and that is very toxic, very toxic. The great thing about the black pill is. It just tells men the truth, or well, it just tells people the truth. And sometimes that truth isn't always pleasant, but I'd rather be told the truth than a pack of lies, or I'd rather be told the truth than given false hope based on blind optimism. So what's an example of how you can make a woman feel sexually attracted to you? What's an example of what you could say or do? Nothing. Say nothing. In terms of saying nothing, uh, you can't talk your way to them. Say, what can you do to make yourself more sexually attracted to them? Simple, looks max. But once again, that won't work for every guy. You know, if you're just an, 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 if you're just that unattractive like me, for example, you can looks max until the cows come home. Um, no one will find you attractive. They'll just see you as an ugly man with a good body. But for the guys who are say average to slightly below average looking, yes, looks maxing will. We'll get you over the line with the ladies. And the classic example is that is that yeah, YouTube uh, Black Pill content creator ascended. He was able to successfully look max his way from being an inkwell to, a, I suppose you could say, a Chad Chad Light, where he's, he's pulling women pretty easily now. So that's re really the only thing you can do as a man, particularly if you're an unattractive man, is to, to look max your way out of inkwelldom. But even then, there's no guarantee that'll work. So let's say, for example, you're talking to a woman at a bar and you ask her, so have you gotten up to anything interesting lately? 
and she then starts telling you what she's been up to. What can you do at that point to make her feel sexually attracted to you? When most guys are interacting with a woman that they find attractive and ask a question like that, they'll end up being neutral or very nice as she talks about it. So if she starts talking about the fact that she's been going to the gym lately and eating healthily, a guy who's being neutral will just try to get along with her. And he'll say, oh yeah, that's great. You've been going to the gym and uh, yeah, I go to the gym as well and I try to eat healthy. Oh, what, what sort of foods have you been eating? And how often do you go to the gym? And he's just trying to get along with her and connect with her and hopefully if they have enough in common, then she's going to like him. She's going to be... Well, of course, that's just common sense, isn't it? When I try to unsuccessfully chat up ladies that I was interested in, yeah, of course you want to find out what, what her interests are and what she likes to because you need to have things in common. You need to you need to have things in common with a with a person in order for that, in order for that relationship to be successful. Um, you need to you know, like the same things, share the same values. So of course you want to get to know a woman. You know, um, with me, a lot of women that I tried to approach and chat up, and, I, and no, I didn't do any of that 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 day game crap. Um, th these were just in social functions and other things where women expect to be approached. Um, you know, I'd, I'd you know, often introduce myself and I'd just uh, talk to women to see what, what sort of things what sort of things she liked, just to see whether they had something in common. Um, I think that's, that's just common sense, really. But the, once again, this PUA uh, scumbag is going to overcomplicate and, and turn uh, turn relationships into quantum physics when it doesn't really need to be. You're thinking, oh, wow, he likes going to the gym as well. He likes to eat healthily. You know what? We can be boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's start this thing, right? So he's hoping that having things in common is going to cause sexual attraction, but that's a completely different thing altogether. So a guy who is too nice when she's saying that she's been going to the gym lately and she's been eating healthily will likely give her a lot of compliments about it and essentially put her on a bit of a pedestal and suck up to her to hopefully be liked by her. He might say Well, okay, being too nice, yeah, I suppose that's not a, that's not a good thing either, but... What are you going to do? You're going to be rude and disrespectful to her? Like, that's called manners. You know, like, you, you know, like when I talk to a woman or anyone for that matter, I'm, I'm generally I'm polite to them as long as they're polite to me. Um, um, but hang on here, just, just reading these captions here. Um, the woman's saying, oh, he's handsome, seems nice, but I'm not feeling a spark. That's absolute bullshit. If he, if he, if he was handsome... She would be feeling a spark because she, she finds him physically attractive because she likes his looks. Once again, this PUA is just, is just pushing lies, absolute fucking lies. Um, you know, uh, this, the, these PUAs give the worst advice. They really do. they got no idea. Um, if a woman finds you handsome, well, she will be feeling a spark. <laughs> Um, we, we all know the term, you know, you, well, I think we've all heard the term women say, oh, there was great, great chemistry. I had great chemistry with this man. You, what, what, that, what, they're, what women are referring to, when a woman sees a man that she finds very physically attractive, it fires off the chemicals in her brain. So I think, it's, I think it, from memory, it could be called the endorphins, the, uh, the feel-good chemical. Yeah, that's what it fires off. It fires off those chemicals. But if, a guy, if, she, doesn't, if she finds a guy physically unattractive or repulsive, There'll be no chemistry. So this caption here that says, oh, he's handsome, he seems nice, but I'm not feeling a spark, that's, that's cope, that's bullshit. If a woman finds a guy handsome, she will, feel, she will feel a spark. Something like, oh, wow, that's really impressive. You must be so disciplined. It's not easy to stick to a healthy routine like that. You're amazing for being so dedicated. I wish I had your motivation. And he's trying to show her that he cares and that he's a nice guy, he's a good guy. And hopefully she likes him now because of how good he is and how caring he seems and how, you know, what a great outlook on life he has, right? You know what? Let's have sex. Whereas a guy who understands how to make women feel sexually attracted will use what I call playfully challenging humour. Oh, here we go. The fucking pickup lines. Um, yeah, in these photos here, I think this, these are photos of when this pickup artist was a bit younger and had a bit more hair. Look, these these photos can be staged. I mean, you know, he could have paid these women money. Now, look, you know, I'll pay you some money if you have a photo with me. That's not hard to do, guys. It really isn't. Um, what he's pushing out is pick up lines. They don't work, guys. 
they don't work, right? Um, I think too many people, particularly pick up us, I watch too many Hollywood movies, and there's a there's a scene where a guy goes up to a woman in a bar, and she's by herself, which is which is not the case because obviously for, for obvious safety reasons, when women go out, they usually go in numbers for obvious safety reasons. A woman's really going to go out by herself. Sometimes they do, but very rarely uh, for obvious safety reasons. So some guy goes up to a woman, you know, he spins a few cheesy pickup lines, and 10 minutes later they're fucking like rabbits. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way, guys. you got to pass the looks test with a woman. Sorry, it's anyway around it. You can't, you can't use cheesy pickup lines to, to get a woman to, to sleep with you if she, does, if she doesn't find you physically attractive. No, it's just not going to work. There's got to be physical attraction or there'll be no chance of sex. And playfully challenging humour is just one of the many emotionally attractive traits that I discovered, which resulted in me going from having no women interested in me and attracted to me to being able to instantly attract women whenever I wanted to. Once yeah, well, how much did he pay these hookers? Um, it's not, guys, it's not hard to pay a woman to have a photo with you, you know. It's not hard. A lot, you, you often find a lot of these PUA scammers, what they'll, they'll show what they call infields, of of when they actually successfully picked up or supposedly successfully picked up women, a lot of that staged, guys. It is. They probably paid these women. They're so, you know, I'll give you five hundred bucks if you pose in a photo where we're, where we're making out, where we're kissing and hugging. Um, that's that's yeah, that's you know, because think about it. I mean, if if, if these assuming these women were genuine, how many women would agree to have their photo taken? No, they wouldn't say, what, what are you doing? That's creepy. Well, what, what do you want to do that for? What, 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 why do you want to blast my image all over the internet? I don't think I don't think too many women would be very pleased, even if they were genuinely attracted, if they said, oh, you know, can, can we take a photo and let me let me put this on the internet? No, <laughs> no pretty pretty creepy thing to do. So, no, I think these these uh, so-called infields, successful infields are, are staged, faked and staged. Actually, one PUA got caught doing it, a guy called Tom Torero, he's from the UK, he got caught paying a French model to do a, a successful uh, day game pickup, and uh, he got caught out. And I suspect this PUA is doing this here. So I figured out how to make women feel emotionally attracted to me, the floodgates opened. And Once again, big deal, he's, he's, he's posing in a photo with some women. How hard is that? You can go up to group and oh, do you mind if I take my have my photo taken with you? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, no, this, this this photo means nothing, absolutely nothing. And I then use that newfound power to enjoy my choice of women for over ten years. No, no, no. There's something that doesn't pass a smell test with this guy. Once again, these photos. I mean, he could have just gone up to this bird and said, "Oh, you know, I'll give you some money. You know, we'll have our photo taken together." Neil Strauss used to do this as well. Um, if you look at a lot of stuff on Neil Strauss, Neil Strauss, I think we all know who that guy is. He was the author of the book The Game. He's supposedly the ugly pickup artist who can pick up lots of hot women. Uh, no, he, no, he doesn't. Uh, the only the only reason why he picked up some women is because of his status and who he was, not because of his looks or because of PUA bullshit. These photos mean nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, these women could be escorts. Um, or maybe he's just gone up to a woman and just said, look, do you mind if I have my photo taken with you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Always paid them. It still amazes me to this day how easy it is to make women feel an instant yes for you. No bu bullshit. That is bullshit with a capital B. Bullshit with a capital B. No. Basically what he's trying, he's pushing, once again, he's pushing the, the PUA false narrative that if you can somehow press the right emotional buttons on a woman, uh, or Jester Max, um, that she'll uh, she'll overlook your physical shortcomings and will get her to sleep with you. As to before, the women make snap judgments on men within milliseconds of seeing a particular man. If you don't pass that looks test, game over. It doesn't matter how much of a good conversationalist you are, how good your sense of humour is, um, how, how charismatic you are. You don't pass the looks test. That's it. Forget about it. And want you sexually if you know how to make them feel emotionally attracted. It's such an amazing power to have as a man, and I really enjoyed it. Well Once again, 
These photos can be easily staged. These don't, these photos don't prove anything. How hard is it just to, to go look up some someone and say, look, I'll, I'll slip you a couple hundred bucks if you have your photo taken with me. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Who's going to say no to that? So these photos mean nothing. While I was single and I now continue to enjoy it after settling down with my perfect girl who I've been with for nearly 12 years now. So how do you use playfully challenging humor? If you ask a woman a simple question such as, so have you been up to anything interesting lately? And she then starts telling you that she's been going to the gym and she's been eating healthy food. All right, so you ask her, so have you been up to anything interesting lately? And when she starts telling you, you smile and cut her off and say this, wait, I said interesting. Or, oh, hang on, I asked if you've been up to anything interesting. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, no, keep going. Very interesting. Or, hang on a second, I asked if you've been up to anything interesting. Going to the gym, eating healthy food? So what you're telling me is that you're a boring girl. Or, wow, that sounds really interesting. Or, hang on a second, hang on. I asked if you've been up to anything interesting. And at that point, she's playfully challenged. She's feeling shocked in a playful way in the moment. I think what this PUA scammer is alluding to, I think they're called negging. So I think mystery used to push that shit. Um, it's where you sort of, well, not not in a bad way, but you sort of playfully put her down to make you better than her. Uh, it doesn't work, guys. I mean, all it'll do is just make you look weird and stupid. What I'll tell you what, what, what will happen is a woman will say, why is this guy acting like such a fucking weirdo? So this is where we, this is where this this this, this is the the biggest probably the biggest disservice that the PUA does to men. Um, you know, when you try and run PUA tactics on women, it just makes it doesn't make you attractive. No, it just makes you look like a weirdo. It really does. You know, because a woman's going to say, "Why? Why is he saying this stuff? You know, why is he talking like this to me?" You know, it's no, it's, this, this is terrible advice. And her jaw might drop and she'll say what or laugh and so forth and then you can say just kidding that sounds really interesting keep going and at that point what you've shown her in terms of your emotional attractiveness is that you're not a nice guy who's sucking up to her and being on your best behavior to hopefully get a chance with her you also have the courage to be able to say and do something like that in a moment you're not living in fear of being rejected by a woman and you know potentially putting a foot wrong like, if, if I say the wrong thing, she's not going to like me. And then my whole world's going to come crashing down. You she's not going to like you based on what she sees. Once again, it doesn't matter how much of a smooth talker you are. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like your looks. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. And as I've said in previous videos, there's, there's a very valid reason why women, so no, sorry, why men get nervous when they're interacting with women. I mean, I, and I speak from personal experience. You know, if you do cold approach a woman, and I, I strongly recommend you that you don't do that. Um, but in the past, when I when I did it, uh, you know, you you would get nervous because you, you you approach a woman, you can see that her body language is hostile, combative, negative, or aggressive, and you know, you, you get nervous. You go into fight or flight mode. You're going, oh shit, this is going bad. Um, how do I get out of this? And I think probably the, the, the best thing is just to, you know, thank the woman for her time. You know, say something like, you know, sorry to bother you. You have a good you have a good night, lady, and, and just get the hell out of there. Um, but these PUA scammers, I mean, uh, I think I think a lot of these guys have got some type of autism or some type of Asperger's. That's that's why I, I sometimes call PUA pick up autism. Or what's another good acronym for PUA? Practicing unwanted approaches. <laughs> Yeah, some, some guy told me that. I thought that was quite funny. Or oh, it's another good acronym for PUA, Pretty Useless Advice, which is uh, what this PUA scam is giving at the moment. Very useless, extremely useless advice. Um, he's basically telling guys to uh, just to max and use cheesy pickup lines to pick up women. Uh, no, it's just not going to work. It's, it's just not going to work. You're not one of those guys who are essentially uh, hoping that everything goes well with the woman. And if it doesn't, then... <sighs> Damn it, I'm a loser. You know, women reject me. They don't like me. You know, I've got to try to be as nice as possible, say everything as nicely as possible to avoid her potentially not liking anything. I just got to be on my best behavior all the time. If well, of course you're going to be insecure and self doubting and afraid of rejection, especially if you're an unattractive guy. I fucking know if you are. That's that's that, that's, that's that's natural. That's natural. I mean, when it comes to women, I've got no confidence in myself. I've got none, zero. I mean, I've got sexual confidence, 
because of all the practice I've had with hookers. <laughs> but in terms of <coughs> um, confidence with civilian women, I've got none. How can I? I've had no success. Once again, confidence is the byproduct of success. You have to have success first before you can be confident. So, yes, I I will agree that I, I, I'm i insecure, I'm self-doubting, and I'm afraid of rejection. Absolutely. But unfortunately, that's the... Um, these are the uh, unless oh, so what what so what I was going to say these are the um, unfortunate things of being a sub three guy. You're going to have these three things, but that's that's not your fault. That's just they're just the symptoms of being a very unattractive man that no woman wants. But this PUA sounds like he's shaming guys for that. You know, I I, I can't help it that no woman wants me. I, what what can I do? I can't force myself upon a woman. No way. I'm never I'd, I'd never do something like that. You know, women women just don't want my genetics. Okay, fair enough. That's just life and my tough shit. So this is where PUA is so toxic. It just gaslights men and shames unattractive men for something that's not their fault. You know, if you're not an unattractive guy that no one wants, you yeah, look, it sucks, it hurts. But what can you do, guys? It's just it's just life. It's just life. A woman senses that a guy feels like he needs to be on his best behaviour around her and he's worried about putting a foot wrong, her instincts tell her that he's already assuming that this is going to go badly. He's already assuming that he's not good enough for me. And so on, right? He's already expecting a bad outcome. But a guy who's truly confident and has what I call emotional independence isn't reliant on the woman to hopefully make him feel good in the moment. Hopefully, like, approve of me and, and like me and then... But you can only be as confident as a, as a woman allows you to be. See, this clown here, and all these POAs are fucking clowns, um, they think um, confidence is what attracts women. No, it's not. Com the, only, the, only, the only time a woman is a, 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 a attracted to confidence is it's when it's a chad. When women say they're attracted to confidence, what they're really saying is, we are attracted to tall, good-looking men who have the confidence to approach us after we've given them the green light or the choosing signals to do so. That's what that's what women mean when they say they're attracted to confidence. As long as that confidence is coming from a good-looking man. <laughs> so when they tell unattractive guys to just be confident, it's like pouring syrup on shit and calling it pancakes. You can't polish a fucking turd. What this emotional independence bullshit means? Fuck, these, these, these PUA scammers come up with all these trendy new buzzwords. They mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'll be able to feel good. Right? He already feels good about himself. He's already confident. And he doesn't need her to give him anything in order to feel good about himself. So he actually has the freedom to be able to say to her, wait, I said interesting. <laughs> Just kidding. That, that sounds really interesting. Keep going. And she then realizes that he's most likely not going to be a needy, emotionally dependent guy. He's most likely going to be able to take care of his own emotional state and be confident. Oh, what the fuck does this mean? Here we go. More, more of the mental masturbation, wishy-washy bullshit. This stuff means nothing. Emotionally independent. What the fuck is this supposed to mean? I don't know where the PUAs get this stuff, really, they, but they pull this shit out of their ass. They pull this shit out of their ass. None of this is based in, in reality. None of it. And happy in the moment, regardless of what she's saying or doing, he has that emotional independence, and therefore he's much more attractive compared to a man who seems like he needs a woman to be reassuring him, showing that he's doing everything right, and uh, that she doesn't disapprove of him, and then he's going to feel okay. Because if a woman gets into a relationship with a man like that, it will often mean that deep down... He is quite insecure, and that will usually lead to him becoming jealous, overprotective, and needy in the relationship. There we go, the shaming language. The shaming language. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter for unattractive guys because they're not going to get into relationships anyway. So, so all this stuff, whether it's true or not, is, 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 um, is, uh, is irrelevant. Is irrelevant. I mean, look, even, even chads can get cheated on, so... You know, even good-looking guys can get lots of girls. I mean, they're, they're, they're not immune to being cheated and, and dumped on. So, you know, once again, this PUA is going on with a lot of shaming language. Um, yeah, anyway. 
relationship which isn't going to be fun for her. Yet the thing is, when we men are interacting with a woman, we don't need to see that she's emotionally independent, she's confident, and she's going to be able to stand up for herself in interactions, right? She's not going to be someone that is going to be walked all over because we need to be protected by a woman, right? We need to be behind a really strong woman, a brave woman, and so forth. We obviously aren't looking for that. That's not part of how our attraction works. But women do want to be with a man who they feel is stronger than them emotionally and seems oh fuck off look women women that a man looks good <laughs> that's for all this other stuff it's all it's all cope just to have the emotional intelligence to be able to handle her in a relationship to be able to interact with her and be in the one-up position in terms of dominance or emotional strength rather than being in the one down position in terms of emotional strength or dominance where she is then dominating him women feel sexually attracted when a man can actually be more emotionally strong than her look he does have a point i mean obviously as a man you don't want to be too too emotional too weak you have to be i suppose you have to be as stoic as you possibly can um yeah you got to be yeah i mean he's got a point there i'll give him that but look men you know as much as you'd be as stoic and strong as a man as you can possibly be, at the end of the day, men are, men are still human beings too. We've still got feelings. I remember watching a um, an interview between um, an Australian SAS soldier. Sorry, the, for those of you that know what the SAS the SAS is the elite military part of the Australian Army. It stands for Special Air Services. They're the, the elite soldiers in the Australian Army. And they're interviewing this one guy... Um, I think you want a bro. I think you want a bravery. I think you want the Victoria Cross for for some very for very brave things he did in the Afghanistan war. And they're interviewing this guy. And this guy was God six foot eight, built like a tank. I mean, scary guy. <laughs> you want to mess with this dude? And um, he started getting quite emotional. You know? I mean, he didn't burst into tears, but his, his eyes started to tear up, and his voice was starting to break a bit. Because he talked about how one of his uh, comrades, one of his fellow soldiers, got got killed in got killed in combat, and he was getting very emotional, you know. So, you know, yes, as a man, you should try and be as stoic as possible. But you're still a human being; you still got feelings and emotions. I mean, my late father, may he rest in peace, he was quite a stoic man. I only saw him cry on three occasions. Obviously, when when his grandfather died, and then later when his when his mother died, obviously he cried then. But the third time surprised me because. It's when he gave my sister away when she got married. He got really emotional. I thought it was going to be my mum. No, it was my dad. So, but, you know, but the point I'm trying to make is, yeah, as a man, you should be as stoic as possible, but you're still a man. You still have feelings. You still have emotions. And um, women should respect that. And doesn't put himself in the one down position in terms of dominance. And playfully challenging humor is just one way that you can instantly demonstrate to a woman that, hey, I don't actually see myself in the one-down position. I'm not afraid of you, but at the same time, I'm not being a prick, right? You're not... Uh, challenging humour, that's just just a maxing. Um, it, it, it's not going to make a woman attracted to you. It's not. If she, if she doesn't find you physically attractive, you, you, you can have the best sense of humour in the world. You can just... You can just a max till you go black and blue on the face. It's it's not going to get it to be... It's not going to get that woman to be attracted to you saying something to her like well i said interesting that's not interesting that you're going to the gym and eating healthily i mean anyone can do that that's a guy who seriously lacks social and emotional intelligence but a man who can say that playfully he's showing the woman that hey i can playfully mess with you but at the same time i can still be respectful and loving and have a good time with you and i can be in that one-up position without actually demeaning you and trying to hurt you I can do it in a playful and loving way. And women are desperately looking for that because... He's pushing pickup lines again. Once again, they don't work. If a woman is not physically attracted to you, you can use the, you can use the most clever, funny pickup lines. They're just not going to work if there's no physical attraction. When they interact with most guys, most guys are just neutral. Most guys assume that if they have things in common with a woman... Right, she goes to the gym, I go to the gym, she likes to eat healthily, I like to eat healthily, then she's going to like me because of that. Well, yeah, you need to have things in common. Um, um, and you need to be nice to them, not too nice, obviously, but um, 
you need to be courteous to people. I mean, it's called just called manners, isn't it? Um, yeah, anyway. Alternatively, other guys think, well, if I'm just nice enough, then she'll like me because I've heard women say that guys are pricks. All they want is sex. And they're just, they're all assholes. So I'll show her how nice I am. I'll be extra nice and then she'll give me a chance. But while women do appreciate a good man and they want a good man. No, they don't. I've lost sob stories at the amount of stories women have told me about the, the, the about the ex-husband or boyfriend was a bad boy dickhead who beat them up or cheat on them or subject them to all sorts of mental and or physical cruelty. And sadly, these women keep making the same mistakes. They keep, they keep going for the same dickhead after dickhead after dickhead. Now, once again, no woman ever deserves to be subjected to any form of mental and or physical cruelty. No, that's totally unacceptable. But women seem to be attracted to those sort of guys. I'm not saying that all women are, no. But there are a lot of women out there that are attracted to abusive, dysfunctional men. I'm sorry they are. That's just that's just reality. So women say, oh, we're all the nice guys. Um, there are plenty of them there, they're genuine nice guys, not fake nice guys. There are genuine, generally nice, decent men out there, good good men, genuine good men. But you won't date these guys because they're not good looking enough. They're not exciting enough for you. So when women complain about shitty relationships they've had, I don't really feel sorry for them. And I'm not saying that to be an insensitive, callous bastard, no. Once again, no woman deserves to be mistreated in any shape or form. But they're not doing themselves any favours when they keep making the same mistake and keep choosing dickhead after dickhead after dickhead. And they aren't sexually turned on by a guy being really nice to them and trying to suck up to them. And another trait that women find emotionally attractive and that really turns women on sexually is when a man can flirt. So if you've been into... Yes, but it depends on who's doing the flirting. If that man is good looking, if he's a Chad, yeah, that the flirting will be very sexy. But if that flirting is coming from an attractive man, it'll be creepy. Interacting with that woman and you've asked her, so have you been up to anything interesting lately? And she says that she's been eating healthily and going to the gym. To flirt with her, you can say something like this. So I'll assume that you've been making healthy food yourself, is that right? And she then says yes. Cool, well, uh, maybe on our second date you can make me some healthy food. But on our first date, we're definitely going to go get a burger. And with that, the guy is then flirting about the idea of going on a date with her and flirting about the idea of her making food for him, which makes her feel more feminine and girly in comparison to his masculine approach. Sorry, just um, going back to that photo that you just put up of those two, of that, of that attractive one at the bar, and she's smiling. Yeah, she'll only, she'll only react like that. Well, I don't know if she's doing that cause for, for a photo, but... If you were to meet that woman in real life, uh, she'd only be smiling like that at you if you're a Chad. Um, if you're a, an average or worse, still a below average looking guy, uh, you won't be getting a smile. You'll be getting a death stare and a dirty look. <laughs> You'll be getting the instant fuck off signals. Um, but just going back to what I was saying before, yeah, if, yeah um, women are attracted to a guy who can flirt, but um, that, the guy doing the flirting has got to be physically attractive himself. If it comes from a Chad, yeah, it's cute, it's sexy. If it comes from an ugly guy or an average guy, it's creepy. Where he's telling her to do something for him, right? He's putting himself in that masculine position of, you know, make food for me. But he's not saying it in a disrespectful or rude way or demanding way. He's throwing it out there in a flirtatious way. But as a result, the woman gets to feel emotionally feminine around him. She gets to feel girly around him and experience that polarity between their energies where he's being more masculine and she's then allowed to be the feminine one rather than just saying to her, oh, you've been eating healthily. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, what sort of foods you've been eating? Oh, right. And um, yeah, so I mean, what made you get into eating healthy food? And just having a neutral conversation with her, just being nice, trying to be friendly and get along with her and so forth. That's great if you want to just get along with a woman and have a neutral, platonic, non-sexual interaction. But if you want a woman to feel sexually attracted to you, you need to be able to display the traits that actually cause a woman to feel sexually attracted and around. Uh, the only trait that you need for a woman to feel sexually attracted is just to be good looking. <laughs> All this other stuff that's going on is just fluff. It's, it's superfluous. It's, it means nothing. And yeah, you got to be. You, you got to know how to be able to talk to women. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't disagree with that. But as I said before, communication, just like attraction, has got to be a two-way street. If you're chatting up a young lady and you're doing all the talking, um, she ain't interested. Or if she's giving you one-word answers, um, 
she's not interested either. Like I said before in my uh, in the video, when I've observed my Chad friends or better looking friends successfully pick up girls, not only was the attraction mutual, but so was the communication. They were both equally doing the same amount of talking because they were both in, they, were, they were mutually interested, both mutually interested in each other equally. So, yeah, so <laughs> you can spit out whatever cheesy pickup line, but if she doesn't find you physically attractive, it's it's it's, it's going to be irrelevant. Asked. For example, a guy could say the same sort of line about a woman cooking for him and going out for a burger, but say it in a way that is emotionally unattractive and is not going to cause the woman to feel sexually attracted. So if he says it in an apologetic way, where he feels ashamed and guilty for suggesting that they go on a date or suggesting that she might cook something for him, then she's not going to feel attracted to that because she's going to sense his fear and weakness. Right, so if he says something like, oh, you've been eating healthy food, well, I mean, uh, maybe you could cook me something healthy on a second date and maybe for our first date we could go for a burger. She's going to sense and see and feel the fear all over him and it's not going to turn her on. Uh, <laughs> this is what turns women on, good-looking men, tall, good-looking men. What comes out of their mouth is irrelevant. You know... Uh... A Chad can just stand there in the corner of a bar minding his own business and women will come up to him. Uh, an equal friend of mine told him about an experience that he had. He was um, he was in a bar and a couple of metres near him there was a Chad, a six foot four Chad, just minding his own business, having his drink, having a drink. This woman came, came up straight up to him and handed her contact details. You know? <laughs> uh, what uh, emotional in, uh, intelligence did he, did he have? What emotional attractiveness did that guy have? Uh, no, nothing to do with emotion. He had physical attractiveness. That's what made that woman come over to him. Women are not turned on by fear in men. They're turned on by our confidence. So, No, they're turned on by Chad. Um, and once again, confidence is the byproduct of success. You can only be as confident with a woman as she allows you to be. You know, if an ugly guy is going to start acting confident with a woman, she's going to get the shits. Well, for two reasons. Why is this ugly? You know, she, or she's going to get angry. She's going to say to herself, how do I get rid of this creep? And number two, she's going to get angry with the ugly guy acting confident because she's, she's saying to herself, I've given you no reason to be confident. So why are you acting confident? You know, um, once again, telling an ugly guy or, or an unattractive guy to be confident is akin to pouring syrup on shit and calling it pancakes. You can't polish a turd. While what you say is important, what's even more important is what emotional state you're in when you're saying it. Right? Oh, fuck off. You may recall I did a reaction uh, video a few months ago to that Russian PUA fraud scammer. What did he say? Oh, guys, no, it's not your looks that gets you rejected by women. It's, you need to have the right default emotional state. Do you remember that mental masturbation and bullshit? I think this guy's going on with the same thing. You you have to have the right default emotional state. You need to be emotionally attractive. I mean, this is cope on a biblical level. It really is. Look, this is what women find attractive, Chad, <laughs> or, or or tall, good-looking guys. Um, I know it's a very black and white way of looking at male female intimate relationships, but when you look what goes on in the real world, that that's what it comes down to, guys. Your looks, black pill one hundred one. I know us black pillars often get it get attacked as being doomers, idiots. No, we're not idiots at all. Other black pillars I've spoken to are probably the most intelligent people you could ever hope to speak to, extremely intelligent people. These are guys who get it. They get it. Um, yeah, um, unfortunately, your your looks as a man really la largely dictates your dating success or failure. And if you're an unattractive man like me, for example, Dating for you is often going to be a very frustrating, self-esteem crushing experience. Um, it's just, it, it is what it is. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you guys. You know, really, and then that, that, that's not to say that I don't want to see other guys succeed. With women. I, I hope you, I hope you guys do. I, I would want to wish my lack of luck with women upon my worst enemy. I really don't. But just be aware that if you are an unattractive guy that that struggles with women, it's going to be tough. And I hope you do succeed. You know, nothing warms my heart when I hear of a uh, 
a former inkwell, an unattractive guy, um, you know, get, landing a woman. You know, I wish all the work. I hope, I hope it all works out. I really do because we're, we're the underdogs of this. Us unattractive us, particularly sub three, sub three guys like me. We're, we're the underdogs of this world when it comes to dating and relationships. So it always warms my heart when I hear an underdog get up. But uh, yeah, no, you know, it is looks. It is. Um, I know this PUA is trying. This PUA scammer is trying to say, "Looks don't matter. It's your emotional, you know, what was it? Your emotional attractiveness, which is a, a meaningless term. It means nothing, and it's ridiculous." So, if you're in an emotional state where you're being masculine and flirting with her, then she's going to feel sexually attracted to that because no, she's not. She's going to be automatically her automatic reaction. <sighs> Okay, here he's saying attraction is an automatic reaction to attractive traits. Yeah, that's if the guy's a Chad. <laughs> She'll be automatically attracted to that because, as we all know, women make snap judgments on men within milliseconds of seeing a particular man. You don't pass that looks test, game over, done, forget about it. No, it's not going to happen. You have to pass that looks test. You've got to pass that looks test. Don't pass the looks test with a woman. There'll be no chance of sex or a relationship. It, it just won't happen. Uh, let me tell you what 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 a woman's automatic reaction is to a chat. Yeah, attraction, and what what a woman's automatic attraction is to an ugly guy. Uh, that, that that is of uh, the disgust and repulsion. You know, as, as we all know, the the main premise of PUA teaching is that you can somehow trigger the right emotional response in a woman, or press the right emotional buttons in a woman. That that will get her to overlook your physical shortcomings or get her attracted to you. Um, no, let me tell you the only feeling that you're going to get from the only feeling that you're going to elicit from a woman who finds you physically unattractive is that of disgust and repulsion. <laughs> that that's going to be her reaction. That's going to be her automatic reaction to an unattractive man approaching her. Attraction is an automatic reaction to attractive traits. It's just like how we men automatically feel attracted to a woman's cleavage. We don't have to think about it and wonder whether or not we should feel attracted. It's just an instant reaction. The attraction just switches on. Now, we men obviously don't have cleavage to attract women. Instead, what's most attractive about us to women are our emotional... Fuck off. Yes, us men, we've, we, us men we, we're visual as well. Um, no, what... Um... What women find most attractive in men is their looks. I'm sorry, and women are more visual than what we are. Way more visual than we are, and for good reason. As I said before in the video, if a woman has offspring with a particular man, she wants to make sure that she passes on good genes to those kids so those kids stand a good chance of survival and, be, and, and, and have the ability to reproduce if they're attractive as well. Um, it's not going to happen with an ugly man. Nope. I mean, yes, some ugly guys get to pass on their genetics, but usually what you find with ugly men, particularly guys like me, you're, you basically become a genetic dead end, right? Your your family lineage ends with you. It's going to end with me. I mean, I'm, I'm never going to have, I'm, you know, oh, I, I'm too old, 55-year-old man. You know, even if I was able to afford to have a wife and kids, I mean, God, by the time that kid's out of high school, I'm going to be I'm probably going to be in a bloody nursing home <laughs> or in the grave, if you know what I mean. Um, but you know, you know, what I'm getting at uh, women. Um, women want the best genetics. I'm sorry, that that's just that's a scientific fact. That's just that's hard science. I don't know where this guy's pulling these studies from. They're bullshit. Um, you know, all this these these emotionally attractive traits. This is all just all fluff. That's all fluff. That's all bullshit. Um, this is what this is what women find most attractive in men. That's looks. Looks, looks, and looks. Traits. Women are more interested in what's happening on the inside for you. Oh, get fucked. Get fucked. No, 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 no. Women are more interested in what's on the outside. They're more interested on the outside. I mean, look at Jeremy Meeks. The guy was a convicted criminal. A gangbanger. You think women gave a shit? He didn't have. A, he obviously didn't have a very nice personality. What about Ted Bundy? And that 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 evil monster. Women, women were sending marriage proposals. It's one of the horrible things that he did. He obviously wasn't a very nice person on the inside. Richard Ramirez, another horrible evil man. Yeah, women were sending love letters in jail. 
<laughs> he wasn't very nice on the inside, was he? When you're interacting with her and other people, and how that then comes out on the outside in terms of your behavior and reactions to things. That's what really matters to women. So no, it doesn't matter. Your looks matters what, 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 um, was what matters to women. He talks about behavior. Okay, we, we've, I've discussed how, as a man, that uh, you often get nervous when you approach a woman, and for good reason. Or if you're interacting with a woman and, she, and you start to detect anger from her, of course you're going to react to that. You're going to get nervous, of course, because you can tell the interaction is going bad. You're going to fight or flight mode. You're saying, oh, shit, what am I going to do here? This is, this is going bad. Um, this, is, this, is, this is going badly. Of, of course you're going to behave. Of course you're going to you're going to get nervous. That, that's just natural. That's just normal. That's just normal. You're a human being at the end of the day. You're going to react to a certain situation. Um, you know, if you are interacting with a woman and she's giving you very hostile body language or she's giving you one-word answers or she's, she, she, she's getting aggressive and angry, of, of course you, you're going to get nervous. That's, that's just natural. But this PUA is, uh, is shaming men for that. Fuck this guy. Fuck all PUAs and dating roaches. They're, they're scum of the earth, these people. They really should. They really are. They really are. They, they prey on vulnerable men, vulnerable, usually physically unattractive men. You know, they give all these, they make all these, they give all these false promises and, you know, they, they give these men false hope based on blind optimism, which is very toxic. That's extremely toxic. Extremely toxic. And they give terrible advice. And just on cold approaching women, you, you really got to be really careful with that stuff these days. A lot of Western countries, even here, particularly here in Australia, the gov governments have really ramped up sexual harassment laws. I've heard of reports of guys, they, 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 didn't, they weren't trying to sexually harass women, they just cold approached a woman and, and just said something, oh, you know, it's a nice dress you're wearing or whatever. And the woman's called the cops on the guy. And, you know, the guy didn't do it. Like, he didn't try to touch her or anything like that. You know, so men are getting in trouble just for that. So, you, you know, you've got to be very careful how you interact with women these days, particularly in, in the workplace. Um, I've heard some real horror stories of guys. I mean, they, they weren't trying to sexually harass these women. They just uh, they just flirted with a woman a little bit. You know, just said, "Oh, you know, it's a nice dress you got there," and the woman's taken offence to it because it came from an ugly guy. It didn't it, it? It did not come from Chad. She's gone to HR and complained about the guy, and the guy's either lost his job or he's been reprimanded. So you need to be very careful these guy, guy very careful these days on how you interact with women, even if you're doing so in a passive manner. Uh, if a woman wants to be a bitch, she could she could fuck up your life. She could. I mean, she could pull, she could uh, file a false allegation against you, and which could ruin your life or, or your career. So you need to be very careful. I mean, what these PU? If you listen to these PUA guys, you fuck you could probably end up in jail. <laughs> these guys give terrible advice. They really do. They got they got no idea about women. They come up with all these wishy washy. Bullshit theories, all, all this pseudo psychological crap. Look, the black pill or the truth is simply this women go by looks first. That's the number one, that's the primary thing they go for. That's if you want to get genuine desire from a woman, it is your looks and your genetics. I'm sorry, it is. You know, and of course, the idiots, the oofy doofy morons, and the other blue pill idiots will say, Oh, no, no, I see ugly guys with beautiful men all the time. Bull fucking shit. Bullshit. Yeah, some ugly guys get lucky. Big deal. So do some lottery. So, so do some instant millionaires when they when they when they're fortunate enough to buy an inst, uh, buy a, a winning lottery ticket. Proves nothing. Proves absolutely nothing. Women go by looks first. You want genuine desire from a woman? She has to be physically attracted to you, or she has to find you physically attractive. There's no other way around it. Sexual attraction does work differently for men and women. And before I help you further in this video, I'll point out that. If you want to learn 124 traits that make... Oh, here we go. Become irresistible to women. Yeah, become Chad. Um, or be a B in here. <laughs> um, learn what to say and to, and learn what to say and do to display 124, 124 traits that attract women sexually and romantically. Learn, learn what to say. Oh, okay, so he's pushing pickup lines. Pickup lines. They don't work. If you're going to use cheesy pickup lines to try to attract a woman, um, all you're going to do is you're going to make yourself look a weirdo and a creep. You will.
because the woman's saying to us, oh, why, why is he saying this stuff? Why is he acting like this? Why is he acting so weird? <laughs> oh, dear. This video just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I've, I've, I've reacted to some pretty bad PUA videos, but this one would have to be the worst by a country, by a country mile. Women feel sexually and romantically attracted to you, then I recommend that you head over to masterattraction.com. At Master Attraction, I will teach you two new traits every month, and you <laughs> confidence. New exclusive mindset makes you feel 100% confident around women and, and you around women you find attractive. Once again, you can only be as confident with a woman as she allows you to be. You're only going to feel 100% confident with a woman if she's giving you choosing signals, All right? Um, what did you say here? Also makes you feel increasingly confident every day for the rest of your life. Not necessarily. If you're not having any success, how the fuck are you supposed to be confident? Once again, confidence is the byproduct of success. You must be successful first before you have the confidence. There is simply no other way around it. We'll learn examples of what to say and do to display the traits. And as a result of continually learning every month and getting increasingly better results every month with women, you will... How do you know that? How do you know that? Humor. Lo loads of tests have proven to work example of what to say and do when using playful, challenging humor. So basically what he's saying is Jester Max. Yeah, look, having a good sense of humor is a positive attribute to have, of course. Obviously, a person who's fun to be around is going to be a lot more attractive than someone who's all sad and depressed. That, that's a no-brainer. I don't, I don't disagree with that for a, moment, for a single moment. Absolutely. But what's the point of just maxing if, if, if a woman doesn't find you physically attractive? She's just going to see you as an idiot. She'll say, oh, yeah, this, this guy's fun to be around, but I'm not going to fuck him because I don't find him physically attractive. So basically what he's, what he's teaching here is just just maxing. Experience what psychologists refer to as psychological momentum. Psychological momentum is something that causes you to get results that are not ordinarily possible if you just do something once and then give up, or just learn a little bit and then forget about it. Essentially, the way that psychological momentum works in terms of you making women feel sexually attracted to you is that when you know how to display a trait that makes a woman feel sexually attracted to you and you do it, you see that women feel more sexually attracted to you than they have before. And that... There we go, go more of this pseudo-psychological bullshit. But this is my, this is my opinion on psychology. Look, I think it's got its merits to it. I think there, there are there's some legitimate things to it, particularly, say, for example, soldiers who are suffering from PTSD. Yes, psychology is a, is a valuable, a valuable science into helping people suffering from PTSD. Absolutely. I think it does have its merits. But at the same time, too, there's a lot of bullshit with psychology as well, particularly with the self-help industry, and I would include the PUA scammers, dating roaches, Tony Robbins, the people who wrote that ridiculous book, The Secret, and level mark, multi-level marketing schemes. That's where so, that's where psychology loses a lot of its credibility because with a lot of this um, this pseudo psychological, this you know, this new age stuff, they push this idea that oh, if you think that you're going to be successful or something, or if you imagine that you're going to be successful or something, well, you will be just because you imagine it or just because you think it will be. Real life doesn't work that way. To be good at something, to be successful at something, you've got to be good at it. There's just no other way around it, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, you just got to, you just, you, you've got to be successful. There's just no way around it. You can... You can imagine and daydream till, till the cows come home, but unless you're successful at something, yeah, yeah, you can do all the thinking and daydreaming and imagining you like, but you've got to be successful. And, and just thinking that you're going to be successful is simply not going to happen. And it's very toxic because what it does, once again, it gives people false hope based on blind optimism. And for people who fall for this stuff, they're going to crash and burn very hard because when their expectations or what they imagine to happen doesn't doesn't materialize, these people are going to crash and burn very hard. I think it's people. I think it's best be people to be told the truth. Once again, with with self improvement, yes, of course, you'd always be trying to to self improve yourself or you know be on a never ending journey of self improvement. That's a good thing, but if you're going to do that, just realize two things: be realistic and know your limitations. 
you know, shoot, 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 sure, shoot for the stars, but take what you can get. Causes you to feel more confident about yourself. And then when you display an additional trait on top of that that makes women feel sexually attracted, they feel even more attracted, you notice that and you feel even more confident about yourself and your attractiveness to women. And that just continues. So what happens is that you become increasingly confident and increasingly attractive to women every Look, the only way you're going to become increasingly confident to them is if you have success with them. And the only way you're going to do that is to looks max. I'm sorry, it's the only way around it. You know, you can tr you can try all this PUA bullshit. It's not going to work. It really isn't. You're just going to look, you're going to look creepy and stupid to women. You really will. You don't approach women until unless she gives you the green light to do so. To tell you the truth, you know, the, you know, you know the the. the the most qualified people to give dating advice to people, I think to form inkwells who have looked smacks their way out of inkledom. And the reason why I say that, because they've sat on both sides of the fence. They've been on both sides in the sense that on one side there, they're on the ink, they were unattractive. No woman wanted them because they were physically unattractive. They've then, they've then been able to successfully look smacks their way to becoming a man that's, that's physically attractive to women. And then now they're enjoying success and, the, the, the classic example of that is, is, is the uh, the black pill YouTube YouTube content creator ascended. He's he's been on both sides of the fence. He's been he used to be an un, well, I won't say he was that unattractive. He was slightly below average looking, but through the the successful hair transplant he got and plus the gym selling he did, um, he was able to go from an I suppose an average to slightly below average looking man to a Chad Chad light, and now he's enjoying amazing success with women. So really, that's the only. I think that's the only real thing you can do. And they're the guys you want to listen to because they're set on both sides of the fence. And, and no, they didn't use cheesy, useless PUA bullshit to attract women. They look smaxed. So these are the guys you want to take advice from. The people you want to le you least want to take advice from are PUA scammers like this clown, dating roaches, women. Of course, women give the most awful dating advice. And once again, I'm not a misogynist, but let's be honest, guys. Female dating advice is fucking useless. It's absolutely fucking useless. And who else gives useless dating advice? Chads. I'm, 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 I'm talking about guys who are born chads, who are born with good looks. What the fuck would these guys know Know what an ugly guy has to go to? I think the problem with a lot of chads, and I'm not saying this out of jealousy or any form of derangement towards them, um, a lot of chads lack self-awareness. I'll give you an example. Look. My, the Chad friend I went with the, on the, when the cruise with, after the cruise, he made this statement. Um, he made this statement that um, this made no sense at all. And it was, totally, it, was, it was totally false. He said, oh, everybody was hooking up with everybody on the Fair Star. No, they weren't. Let me tell you, I was on that cruise for two weeks. I saw everything that happened. I was stone cold sober the whole time. What happened on that cruise was... Um, the only people who are hooking up were women. Well, of course, they're the choosers. They can, they're the ones who decide whether sex is going to happen or not. And the chads they pre-selected, they're the only people that were hooking up on that cruise. So when they call, they they, they used to call. Well, they still do. They they, they used to call Fair Star the they used to call Fair Star the fuck ship. That's not totally true. the The more accurate, the more accurate uh, term for that ship was Fair Star the fuck ship. For, for women and the chads they pre-selected, they chose. Uh, if you're an ugly guy, um, you got no sex. I didn't get any chad. I, I must have approached, over the, the two weeks of that cruise that I was on, I would have approached maybe, I don't know, 14 to 15 women, got absolutely nothing, got rejected every single time, and it was all in, and it was instant rejection too. I go up to a girl, you know, politely introduced myself. He took one look at me and just gave me a dirty look and turned her back on me. That's life. But yeah, the 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 people you don't want to take dating advice from are uh, pick up PUA scammers, dating roaches, women and chads. They got no idea. See, problem with chads, particularly guys who were born as chads, they think they do they're, they're doing or saying something that gets them the girls. No, it's just just it's just the fact that they won out in the genetics lottery. It's just who they are. It's just pure luck. Pure luck that they were born with the genetics and women find it attractive. Yeah. So now the, the the people you really want to take dating advice from are former inkwells who have looks that looks max their way out of inkwildom because they've said they they've said that they've um 
they're set on both sides of the fence month and if you want to experience that and become irresistible to women because you're able to display so many attractive traits then i recommend that you join master attraction and begin learning if you join master attraction you'll also get instant access to the master attraction community where you yeah just want to flog his pua bullshit here um yeah don't guys don't um don't waste one cent on this stuff all I can say to particularly the to us very unattractive guys, all I can all, the only advice I could really give is try and look look smack your way out of equal them. If that doesn't work, um, you just have to pay for play. I'm sorry, that's just I know that sounds very um, very doomerish and very negative, but it is, it is what it is. You can make new friends with fellow members. You can find a wingman. You can ask for advice from fellow members. You can give advice to help a fellow member and so forth. Essentially, with the Master Attraction community, you'll never be alone with this area of your life ever again. So one final point that I want to make for you in this video to help you is that you can have the same appearance and give a woman a completely different experience depending on what traits you display. Right. So as you would have noticed when I was displaying the traits in the examples, I have the exact same appearance, but I can go from being a confident man, which women find attractive, no, women only find confidence attractive if it's a a, um, a tall, good-looking man. A a confident a, a man a man an ugly man trying to be confident is is, is seen as creepy. <laughs> to being an insecure man, which women find unattractive, with the exact no, women find ugly men unattractive. Uh, whether he's in, whether he's insecure or not is um, is relevant. Women go by looks first. Not this mental masturbation this PUA scam is going on with. Same appearance. And what's really cool about how a woman's attraction works is that you don't have to be perfect in order to do it. And if that wasn't true... Here we go again. Uh, this, this supposed, you know, we don't know the circumstances of this relationship. I bet my two balls, this guy's rich and she's a gold digger after his money. Right. I bet you that's the case here. This 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 guy is he's rich. He's led with his wallet. This gold digger is coming. He's coming. He's coming after his money. He's probably and he's probably end up in a dead bedroom marriage. She's going to cheat on him with Chad, divorce him, and take more fifty percent more of his shit in divorce court. That's the deal here. Then you wouldn't see guys who don't look like anything special with pretty girlfriends or a. Okay, look, no, homo, you're the second guy. This guy's not that not that ugly. So this is a bad example. Attractive girlfriends or nice-looking girlfriends. Uh, fucking hell. These oofy-doofy copers, they make me laugh. They really do. Um, I think a lot of these PUAs and the, if you do, the proponents of the oofy-doofy theory, I think they've got some type of autism. I think they really do, or some type of mental retardation. And they've got no common sense. Um, don't they know what a gold digger is? And there's plenty of them out there. And once again, I'm not saying they're all women gold diggers. They're not. But there's a lot of them out there, guys. And, um, you know, if you're an ugly guy, but you're rich and you decide to make the, decide to make the mistake of leading with your wallet, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll land yourself a hot woman, but you won't be getting genuine desire from her. Right? And you'll probably end up at a dead bedroom marriage where she's going to churn you with Chad and divorce you and take 50% more of your shit. It wouldn't be possible. A man would have to be really good looking and perfect and be successful in life in order to get himself a girlfriend. But the reality is that approximately 99% of men out there are not rich. And when you see. Well, 1.1% of the world's population are millionaires. Who knows? I mean, I think it's probably more than that. Look, I mean, I look, look, most people in the world are definitely not millionaires, but. Um, it's it's irrelevant. I mean, you know, if you've got to use money to supposedly attract women, you're better off going to a hawker, really. And once again, these 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 are you know these, these examples don't prove anything. I bet I bet in most of these cases, these guys are rich, and these women are gold diggers going after his um going his money. I look in the obviously with the photo you can see now. 
Um, the guy on the middle and the guy on the right, no, homie, they, 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 these guys aren't that unattractive. Um, so they're bad examples. See a guy who has a pretty girlfriend or a pretty wife, it doesn't mean that he's... Well, in this photo here, the three guys pictured here, these guys aren't ugly, and the guy on the right is, is, is high tea normie Chad Light. So, God, if these guys are considered unattractive by women, what the fuck am I? I must be the elephant. Ele I must be the elephant man or the hunchback of Notre Dame or a, a burns victim with third degree burns to 90% of his face. If these guys are considered unattractive. But look, the three guys in this photo, these guys aren't ugly. Far from it. I mean, they're not, they're not I wouldn't call them, Ch no, homo, I wouldn't call them Chads, but they're, 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 definitely, not, they're definitely not below average. And, you know, if these guys are. Considered below average by women, um, um, I must be the elephant man. Rich, it just means that he was able to make her feel attractive. Okay, uh, look, the, the the well, the first the first photo of the middle one, uh, it's got to be money. I mean, this guy looks like he's a curry cell. Uh, no, it's got to be no. It's, it's she's a gold digger. I'm sorry, there's no way she finds this curry cell attractive. The guy in the, the the right photo, he's not that he's not that, but he's tall. That's what's probably saved him. Um, yeah, well, look, if you see an if you see an ugly dude with a hot woman, it, it's money. I don't care what anyone says. Acted and then shoot his shot. And the way that it works is very simple. It's not rocket science. You simply need to display some attractive traits and shoot your shot. And with some of the women that you meet. You only really need to display a couple of attractive traits and then shoot your shot, and she'll happily go along with it. She'll ha no, she won't. Yeah, she can have confidence, even if it's fake confidence and emotional masculinity. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Here's another made-up, retarded term used by the PUA scammers: emotional masculinity. God, the, the, the ridiculous jargon the PUA scammers use is just—it's just ridiculous. These guys are retarded. I'm sorry, they are. That's why PUA stands for picking up autism, because <laughs> these guys are autistic. And, and, and no offense to people who actually are autistic, but these guys are just, these guys are idiots. They're retarded. Um, he's basically saying that if you, even if you act confident and supposedly have emotionally masculinity, women, women will be attracted to it. They'll, they'll, they'll want to, um, they'll learn me to be attracted to it. No, they won't. You have to pass that looks test first. <laughs> Um, but, of course, these uh, POA scammers will, will downplay the importance of looks because you can't make money out of telling the truth. Um, another thing, I think POA, they, they have such this perverted, distorted view on women. And they really do. They, they seem to make out that women are these raging nymphomaniacs that are they're on the hunt for dick 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They're not. They're not. Women don't have the same sex drive us guys do. And women are very picky, and they're way more visual than us men are. Way this bullshit, this PUA bullshit artist is is falsely claiming that that men are more visual. No, 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 no. It's women who are more visual. But just going back to what he's what he's put up here about confidence and emotional masculinity, that that means nothing. These 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 attributes or qualities mean nothing to a woman if you, she doesn't if you, if she does not find you physically attractive. He's just once again he's just going on with more bullshit happily get into a relationship with you and so forth but not with all women some women do require a much stronger attraction experience they do want to yes well no i wouldn't say some women i'd say most women desire a chad <laughs> or a guy who's good looking um you know what yeah, okay okay what's that masculine charm confidence high status behavior <sighs> High status behavior, what's that? If you're a CEO or something? Untamed energy, emotional masculinity, sexual confidence. And this is this is just all fluff, guys. It's all fluff. Guy who can display more attractive traits. So for example, if a guy is confident and he also knows how to use what I call playfully challenging humor, he'll be able to attract and get results with many women. But he'll not necessarily depends how good looking he is. I mean, if he's ugly, he'll get nothing. He could have all those you could have all these 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 traits this PUA scam is going on, but if, but if the woman doesn't find him physically attractive, he's going to get rejected. We'll also come across women who are a little bit more challenging, and they will test his emotional intelligence by... Oh, fuck off. 
I think what he's going on about here is shit tests or women playing hard to get. These have to be the two, two biggest copes that the PUA industry put out. Uh, shit tests, they don't exist. Women aren't going to shit test a guy that they find physically attractive. Think about it. If a woman puts up resistance to a guy, the guy, assume he knows how to, assume he knows how to read body language, and most people do, um, he's going to take that as, well, she's rejecting me. Um, I better leave her alone. Because what a, shit, what a shit test really is, it's just a woman's way of telling you to fuck off, an indirect way of telling you to fuck off. So she's giving you resistance. Um, it's not a shit test. Uh, she's telling you to fuck off. <laughs> and if that happens, uh, you, you politely thank the woman for a time and you leave her alone. And also the, you, you often hear this term, oh, she's just playing hard to get. No, 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 no. She's not playing hard to get. You're playing hard to want. Um. And you often people say, oh, no, men men like the challenge. They mean that. No, they fucking don't. Who the hell wants to jump through hoops and play stupid mind games to have sex with women? You, you, you want, you know, dating and hooking up with women should be a seamless, organic process. It should just flow. It should just flow nicely. You know, if men and women like each other, they're attracted to each other, hook up, hooking up, having a relationship should just, should just follow through. It should be a seamless, organic process. So, no, um, once again, this PUA is just talking a lot of shit, bullshit. Um, women don't shit test men they're attracted to. And women don't play hard to get. It's more a case of you as a man being hard to want. Believe me, if a woman really likes a guy, um, she, won't be, she won't play hard to get. She'll actually be very easy to get. And I've, exper- I've witnessed this personally with my Chad friend and my better-looking friends. When they've successfully hooked up with a woman, she didn't give she 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 did not give the man any shit test, and she made it she made herself she made herself very easy to get, not hard to get. Being a bit difficult during the conversation to see if he can handle himself, right? So he might interact with one woman and be confident and say something playfully challenging, and she will be laughing, she'll be loving him, and he'll be able to use that then to continue the interaction, move things forward and get a result. But then he'll interact with another woman who laughs at his joke, but then starts showing that she's not that interested to test how he is then going to react. And if he starts... Oh, fuck off. More PUA cope. Um... If a woman's giving you resistance, it's basically her way of telling you to fuck off. I don't like you. I'm not physically attracted to you. Um, women don't do that to chads. Believe me, they don't. Um, yeah, this this PUA. I mean, these guys these guys give the most dog shit advice. Absolute dog shit. I wouldn't I wouldn't use this for toilet paper. Seriously, it's just that bad. Becoming insecure in that moment and doubting himself, she then knows that okay, he's not confident enough for a woman like her. He's not strong enough. He's not emotionally intelligent enough to be able to handle that moment, that challenge. Oh, fuck off. All cope. This is all cope. Fucking cope. Um, women don't uh, give resistance to chads or guys they find physically attractive. <laughs> they don't. Um, woman really likes a guy. You know, she's really physically attracted to him. She'll make it very easy for him to pick her up. Very easy. There are going to be no shit tests. No playing hard to get. None of this PUA cope. She'll make it very easy for him. And therefore, she's not attracted because she's quite a confident woman and she needs a guy who's more confident than her. So with a woman like her, a man does need stronger confidence and he also needs the emotional intelligence to be able to handle the tests that women put men through. Oh, get fucked. More PUA cope. Once again, women don't shit test men that they, they find physically attractive. Um, they don't. So whether you're single or in a relationship, I want you to understand that just because women aren't reacting to you in the way that you react to them, it doesn't mean that you're not good looking enough and that you... Uh, yes, it is. It, do- it does mean you're not good looking enough. If, um, you know, if a woman doesn't reciprocate your attraction for her, um, she obviously doesn't find you good looking enough. Um yeah, you know, I, I know I've said this many times before, and I, I don't mean to sound like a broken record player, but when I've observed my um, Chad friends or better-looking friends successfully pick up girls, um, you know, the the attraction and communication was both was both mutual, and it's usually the woman who initiated it. You know, we're told that as men we're, we're meant to make the first move, 
if we want to meet a woman. Technically, that is true, but really it's women who make the first move, if you think about it. Maybe not in the physical sense, but if a woman sees a guy that she's physically attracted to, she'll give him the choosing signals. So she's really making the first move. And then assuming the man that she's looking at and smiling at finds her attractive, if he reciprocates that interest, um, well, then, you know, then he'll, then he'll, then he'll, he'll make the move to her. But really, it's women who make the first move, not in the physical sense, but in the sense that they'll give, they will give, choo- women will give choosing signals to a man they find physically attractive. So that they sort of make, they, they really do make the first move if you think, if you think about it that way. Um, but what, once again, what this PUA is saying is just, uh, just pure cope. Um, yeah, if women aren't uh, reciprocating your interest, it means because they don't find you physically attractive. <laughs> I mean, like 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 like, like, you know, like like my friend on the cruise. Um, the very first, um, the very first woman he picked up. I remember it was a, when we were having dinner in the main dining hall of the ship. About ten minutes to our left, there were a bunch of hot Stacys. That I, I believe they're from Adelaide in South Australia. And there was one Stacy. Um, well, she obviously wasn't looking at my sub three subhuman looking head. I, I caught this in the corner of my left eye. She was staring at my Chad friend for the best part of fifteen minutes. Um, yeah, and it had nothing to do with his uh, emotional attractiveness <laughs> or any of that cope. Um, you know, he was a Chad, and yeah, and, and I said to myself, within 24 hours, he's going to fuck her, and lo, lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. So, yeah, anyway. You need to become better looking in order for a woman to then start reacting like a man, right? And folks. Well, no, you, you do. You do. You need. You need to look smacks. It's the only way out of inkledom. I'm sorry, it is. What this guy here, he's basically gaslighting and shaming unattractive guys into buying one of his overpriced and useless courses. That's what this guy's doing. He's just gaslighting uh, men. You know. Look, as a guy, one, uh, you know, I've, and I've said it before, but I'll say it again. If you're not an attractive guy. You, the only way out of ink them is to look smacks. And even then, that, that may not necessarily work. It may work for some guys. It, it won't work for others. And, that, and that's, just been, that's just the honest truth. Um, yeah, but this PUA scam, he's just, he's just talking a lot of shit here, a lot, a lot of nonsense. Focusing on body parts, focusing on the physical and being primarily turned on by that. It's important to understand that... Bull fucking shit. Women rate a man's emotional attractiveness as being more important than his physical appearance. Bullshit. Bullshit with a capital B. What 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 the reality is this women rate a man's physical appearance as being more important. That's the reality. That's the black pill. And that is the reality. When you see what goes on in the real world of dating, not the fantasy world of these pickup scammers, that's what women Rate the highest thing. A man's looks. Looks, looks, looks. You can just you can dismiss the black pill all you want, but it always comes to collect. You can run, but you can't hide. You can look exactly the way you are right. Anyway, guys, that, that concludes my uh, reaction video to this god-awful PUA um, video. Um, basically, what he's trying to say is, uh, you know, looks looks don't matter, and uh, you know, you need to be emotionally attractive, and all this other, all this other, this, all, all this other cope that he's going on with. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just bullshit. It really is. Uh, um, yeah, what can I say, guys? <laughs> just, just PUA cope. Um, yeah, that concludes my reaction to this video. Yeah, this guy's just talking shit. Um, your looks is uh, critically important to a woman. Critically important. What, what this guy is saying this video is just absolute nonsense. He's trying to downplay the look, the importance of looks. So you, so he trick, so that he can trick you into buying one of his useless and PUA, one of his useless uh, overpriced PUA courses. Yeah, but uh, avoid uh, PUA out the play, guys. Um, look, the only way to get yourself out of ink is to look max. And once again, it won't work for a lot of guys. Anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you for listening to my uh, 
my video. If you'd like to leave your likes, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon. You guys have a great day. Bye for now.